Music written by women, music performed by women, features on the season. It's amazing that we even have to say that. Indeed, Matthias, but I think first it should be said that we're committed at the Philadelphia Orchestra to all the music, all the great music that's been written and that is being written. But we want to do our part and to take the lead in recognizing the fact that women composers historically have been overlooked. And there's a great number of talents in the composition field. Uh, for example, we're going to commission a piece by Valerie Coleman, who has such a unique language and who's coming more and more to symphonic music. But we also will try to highlight and feature the composers of the past who were so important in their history of music. Uh, Lily Boulanger, for example, not only with her sister Nadia, but they were friends with Stravinsky and so on, and even through American music. And even before this, a few decades before, there was Louise Farinck, who was uh, in Paris, was a very famous composer at the time, and sort of became forgotten afterwards. And uh, we decided that with the sound of our Philadelphia Orchestra, that would be great to feature uh, them and many more, of course. Women also feature on the podium, something I know you're especially proud of also. Yes, we're committed as for the music, to also in the musicians, the best soloists and the best conductors of our time gracing our podium. And um, it was traditionally so associated with men to be a conductor. And this is actually has no, no place in our world. And we have so many wonderful women conductors in our time. And many of them will come and visit us as guests. Many have been, but many will be also making their debut this season. It's wonderful to hear of your strong commitment to total inclusivity uh, on our stages and uh, on our programs. Maybe we'll be past this debate next year. We hope so. <laughs>